Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we're going to continue our look at painting the salamanders from the Horse Heresy Betrayal at Kelf box set. And as you can see here, we have the model ready to go, and we are going to work on some scales. Freehanding some scales onto the model, as scales and fire seem to be rampant across salamander model armor. For that, we're going to grab some Caliban Green with some Lemayan Medium. Of course, Lemayan Medium, because I prefer to use that instead of water, as you maintain a lot more control over the flow and consistency of the paint. Using an artificial brush, or the finest detail brush that you have on hand, we are simply going to begin by drawing out, and we're going to start near the bottom. We're going to create the scales heavily at the bottom, and kind of fade them upwards uh, towards the knee. And for that, basically we're drawing these kind of uh, oval, kind of elongated, kind of circular uh, shapes along the, uh, the bottom edge of the uh, armor. A little bit larger at the bottom, and we're going to work smaller and smaller as we work our way upwards the, uh, the shin. Uh, the shape of the um, of each of the scales, they can be kind of like roundish, but you're better off kind of having kind of a flat, kind of roundish kind of shape rather than a pure circle. You're better off something that's kind of like a uh, like a pill shape or you know um, egg shaped even is, is even preferable, just as long as it's not totally circular. And again, we just simply work our way upwards. We're getting the larger scales near the bottom, and we're just working our way up to smaller scales. And then even some of the scales are off on their own, away from the main little cluster of scales. And again, that just gives us some nice variation on the surface. And again, this model has already been painted in a metallic green kind of color scheme. And so we're going to use that and continue on with that kind of motif on the armor. As you can see there, the Caliban green just simply sits on top of the... Uh, the metallic green if you were painted your models in a uh, typical kind of green like warpstone gold or something along those lines again the same technique will apply it's just you're going to use uh different highlight colors than what we're going to be using here to highlight the colors i'm going to use a rune fang steel a little bit of uh, medium is added to it just to help with flow and basically we're going to draw a little crescent shape at the top end of each of the little scales it's more like drawing like almost like an incomplete C on the top of each of the little scales, if you can imagine that. Sometimes it almost looks like a bit of a line, but that's essentially that's what you're going for is a, is a C kind of shape on the top of each of the little scales. It does require a little bit of a steady hand mode, uh, a little bit of patience as you work your way around again. You're probably not going to do this for all your models, maybe just your sergeants and character pieces and things like that. Anybody you really want to have uh, draw special attention to, or even the special weapon uh, trooper like we have here. When we get to the smaller scales near the top, uh, closest to the knee, uh, we uh, simply just kind of almost do like a little dash or like a little dot in place of trying to do like a little C. Just because it's going to be kind of difficult to kind of get that proper kind of shape in there. But as you can see, even with just that highlight already, it's starting to look nice and uh, scaly-like on that armor. Next, we're going to come in with some Caliban Green and Abaddon Black. We are going to mix these in a roughly a 2 to 1 mix ratio. 2 green to 1 black. And of course, I always say roughly because, again, taking measurements from the end of your paintbrush is not exactly precise. But as long as you're consistent about it, you can get some fairly consistent results out of it. So again, it's whatever amount you normally draw from the... Uh, from the pot, you know, will help uh, determine how big a portion you are laying on your palette. And for this, we're simply again going to draw a, a little C or a little crescent shape at the bottom end of each of the little scales. Again, leaving us with that little bit of Caliban green in, in between. And each of the little scales themselves are getting the uh, the shadow here. And basically, with the silver, we did the highlight. And so with this color mixture, we're doing the shadow on each of those little shapes, giving us the impression that these are uh, three-dimensional shapes, uh, providing a little bit of a, of, a, uh, of a surface texture onto the model, creating that illusion, I should say, that there is a surface texture on here. Again, if you were to sculpt this, obviously you'd simply just paint it and highlight it as you normally would. But again, some of us might not be quite as handy as that as to sculpt our own details, and so we can only freehand the details because maybe you're clever like that as well. 
And as you can see here, once the shadows are all laid in there, it's starting to look even more like a little scale pattern appearing onto the armor. Next, we're going to take Mortarian Green. This is uh, the clear airbrush colors from Forge World. Uh, Tamiya Clear Green will work for this as well, as well as Waywatcher Green will also provide the same kind of um, color consistency. It's a clear color, and it's simply just going to tint and bring that silver down a little bit as well as deepen up the color on the Caliban green and the shadow color we created there. As you can see, I'm pushing the color up towards the knee as I do want to have that the deepest color. I really don't want to get too dark uh, near the bottom of the uh, ankle area. So I want to have those colors kind of uh, stay nice and bright. Once that's dry, you can see it's fairly consistent now. It looks like the rest of the armor. Rune Fang Steel, once again, we're just going to be quickly lay this onto our palette. And very quickly here, we're just going to kind of like how we do gemstones, we're just going to lay a little dot right on the very kind of top of each of the little scales. Again, this is kind of just like one of those little bright high points on each of those little scales and giving us a little bit more depth uh, onto each of the little areas. Again, you can see it's fairly straightforward as we work our way around. Applying each of the little dots as we go. You could do a, kind of like a little crescent shape or a little even little dash if you wanted to. It's entirely up to you. Whatever you're comfortable with. I find that just with this tiny little dot is enough to uh, convince the viewer that they're looking at a, at a three-dimensional kind of uh, shape or texture on that model surface. But there it is. It's as easy as that. Scales on a Salamander Space Marine. Don't be afraid to give it a try. We've got even more painting tutorials in the Silver Mini Wargaming Vault. You can watch another one today about painting the flamer and creating that heated, overheated barrel look. Just click the link below and watch it right now. If you don't have a Mini Wargaming Vault membership, you can click the link and sign up for a seven day free trial. Make sure that you get the Silver membership as you can access the painting tutorials and you get instant access to over a thousand painting tutorials already in a vault. And so thank you for watching and happy Wargaming.